Hi, good afternoon, Afnan here. Uh, no big deal. Today I just want to do some uh, tidying up of one of the plants in my aquaponic system. Basically, the kuchai plants. The kuchai plant, I have too many pots. Basically, all you need is about two pots. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the plants from the pots and regroup it into uh, two pots, make it more compact. And let's see how uh, it's done. I have about six pots of this kuchai plant and they are not growing too well because uh, it's a bit overcrowded and basically the other plants tend to block it from uh, having a breeding space most probably. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just transplant or redo it to only two pots because kuchai plant is something that uh, will grow and continue in giving uh, continue in giving produce continue in giving vegetables uh, non-stop year round so basically what I'm going to do I'm going to report the kuchai and these are basically rosemary just planted it uh, a few of those rosemary I bought the rosemary plants from nursery then I just cut the cuttings and put it into smaller pots so this rosemary as well I will need to put it into bigger pots and uh, try to grow it uh, making it uh, uh, try to grow it better rosemary is something quite difficult to grow in aquaponics because it doesn't really like uh, water that much I have this place here where I have hydrotons stack up in this uh, basket so this is one of the way if you want to stack up uh, or keep hydroton put it in a, a basket like this so that it can have a good uh, uh, drainage it will not uh, be left uh, waterlogged or soggy but at the same time it will have a bit of a moisture so I just put the hydroton in my one of my old spare uh, tub, and I have this hydroton from my previous uh, aquaponic system. This is basically my small work area when I'm going to transplant uh, plants uh, if I just want to do it a quick way. So basically, I just do it tight within inside here. That's all. For plants like this kuchai or any plants which can stay out of the aquaponic system for quite some time uh, what I will normally do is to just remove it from the gutter and basically what I do I just put it outside first so I just move it away and put it outside okay. so basically what I'm going to do uh, I just put it normally overnight so that it's going to be drained off water then when i going to work it it's a bit more manageable if you do not have any tray like this you can always put it just on the on the ground there's no big problem but i just want to make it uh, nice and tidy so i do not want to uh, uh, dirty the uh, the back lane so once i have put it this way for about one day for this kind of plant don't do it to chili they will die so basically chili plants you have to do it immediately uh, please check my video on how to transplant uh, chili seedling but for kuchai you see they are not that good anymore this kuchai is already about close to seven years when initially i got the uh, the, the initial bulbs uh, for the kuchai so over time it's already become uh, too weak in terms of its growth so i need to rejuvenate this plant Basically, I need to just remove it from the old uh, grow, uh, grow bed or in, from the pots and just redistribute it to make sure it will grow better. Here, I already have uh, one of the pots uh, that I put and uh, that I removed the kuchai plants. Basically, what I'm going to do is just take one of the pots with the kuchai plants and I can just work in this area. So basically, it's a small area. 
but it's easy enough to work slowly because I have a small area. So basically, I just make sure the pot is emptied into this basically basket and just remove the roots, the hydroton from the roots. So at the same time, we, I normally spread, um, separate the bulbs. Okay, so then I have individuals or smaller bulbs that I can further subdivide. Because some of the roots here are basically uh, already dead and it's, it's best to remove them in order to revisit these uh, plants. So basically this is what I do. I just take another pot which is the, the one that is fresh. This one is basically I already put it outside for the last one day. So it's a bit dry to work on. Just take the one that I just removed from the grow bed. So this is one of the plants that pots that I just removed from the grow bed. So is this one going to be a bit wet, a bit more difficult to work on. Sometimes what I did, I've just cut the leaf and I work it on the short one. But this one, I just want to leave it as it is. So in usual, we just remove it. So it's already been emptied. And then what I do, I just shake it around. So make sure it have separated from that's why I want to, I normally leave it outside for one or two days so that the roots are a bit dry. It's, then once it's dry, it's a bit easier to work on. So basically, I'm going to put, make the four or five pots into basically two or three pots. And some of the kucha, I probably I just uh, have to uh, just remove them and put it away because you can't actually have too much of this kind of plants and this this plant is very easy to be propagated it propagated by the the roots of the bulbs the rhizome basically so this this is can be easily multiplied because initially when i started i started planting this plant i only have a few one or two pots of these plants and then it have uh, div it have multiply into such a, num a big number then what I did I just uh, uh, slowly remove them from the uh, grow bed because it it just getting to be too much for an average household this plant you only need two pots basically that's about it two pots uh, is all that is needed Basically, this kind of pots, this size, two pots uh, is, is more than enough for uh, average household. So basically, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm trying to maintain two. The most I'm going to maintain three pots. So that's how it is. Sometimes, uh, it's also best to soak this in water. So normally what I do, I just keep it that way. And since we have a fish tank, close by what I just need to do is just uh, soak them in water your fish tank water just wash it down and make sure the roots are clear of any um, soil or basically uh, all this dirt and that's about it here so this probably can be place into one pot all this can be placed into one pot but it's a bit huge but it can be done so I'm going to do it let's take it to the water and basically wash it down the beauty with aquaponic we have a lot of water so basically uh, we just do a preliminary cleaning of the kuchai and just then uh, what I normally do is just clean it again with the uh, fish tank water. It's not a big of deal because uh, I already removed most of the uh, most of the dirt from the plant and just wash it away so that it can be basically replant 
um, to be more manageable. So just watch out because if you have a pump inside this tank, uh, the roots uh, may uh, clog the pump. So just just take note of that. So these are some dead roots that we need to clean. That's why we need the water. And basically, if I have a lot of roots inside the fish tank, the next thing I got to do is just take some fish nets and try to scoop out the basically the, the, the roots from this fish tank. Okay, that's about it. That's about done. So let's just uh, put this in the pots and then I got to put it back into the grow bit. Okay, next, uh, this is the easiest part of the whole thing. Basically, we just try to repot the kuchai plant. And these are the ones that I have just washed. And basically, normally I just put a bit of hydroton. Then these plants, after selecting what is required, and basically you just put a handful. Those smaller ones, sometimes they will not survive. It's just better to put it aside because otherwise they will uh, have we will have problem with. Uh, dead plants and that's it so basically it's quite a lot here but it will do we just want to have it something like that loosen it up so loosen it up so if you have still not enough hydrotone in the, in the first place just put more so because the uh, this chive is basically quite a shallow rooting plants, so they are not basic not uh, invading any other area in terms of plants. So they are quite shallow. So you can have a lot of uh, hydroton underneath. No problem with these plants. So when you have uh, them in a nice position, just then. Put the hydroton in. Give it a good shaking so that the hydroton will drop in and take up its place. So, see, once you've done that, what I do, I will just cut and trim the plants. Let it just grow again. And this can be used. This can be used for cooking. Uh, there's no problem with this. Basically, let it just spread out a bit, and you have. This is from about three pots of um, chive, and I put it into two, uh, into one pot of chive. So next is uh, basically I just going to put back into the grow bit you can basically do that and after about five days it's going to grow very well after we have done the transport uh, reporting of the plants we, the next thing is just to put it back into the uh, gutter grow bit and let it sit and just grow uh, that's it that's how simple it is to just take care of plants in the gutter grow bit system Okay, I hope you enjoy your aquaponic system and practice gardening in the aquaponic way. Thank you very much. Afnan here from Afnan Aquaponic. Bye. Thanks for watching.